What's up everybody, Nick Steel Horse here, back with another episode. You already know if you're liking what I'm doing, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions or concerns, <laughs> or just want to leave me a message about uh, how much you like my tie, my uh, tie bar, or how much you hate it. Whatever you like, leave it in the comment section down below because I like to answer all my comments. So today we're going to be talking about the top five reasons I think you should know before you're moving here to Salt Lake City. Number one, we are experiencing massive growth. I was lucky enough to be born and raised here in Salt Lake over in the suburban area of Sandy, Utah, and have seen this whole area transform. You know, there's a lot of farms and farmland that is now places like Daybreak, massive developments with really planned communities and a lot of amazing homes and places popping up all around Salt Lake City. I'm sure you've heard of the term, the Silicon Slopes. There's a reason it was coined that term, the slopes of the Wasatch and Silicon being the tech startups inhabiting that area. So Salt Lake has seen a lot of development in the healthcare industry, the tech industry, as well as the government sector. So the Silicon Slopes, some of the reputable names in the area are, there's Adobe, we've got eBay, we've got Intermountain Healthcare, of course, and we've got places like backcountry.com, not to mention a little known name, uh, Visa. So a lot of these companies have either startup branches in the Silicon Slopes or they're moving their headquarters to the area kind of like Adobe's doing and building out massive buildings and bringing in people from all over the country, all over the world to, you know, run their businesses and start their careers here. So a lot of those people are moving here one, because of the job opportunity, and two, because of the amazing outdoors that we have in Salt Lake City. But we'll get there. So along with the number one massive growth we see in Salt Lake City, Utah ranks in the top five economies nationwide in the last two to three years. And that's huge. You know, during 2020, we saw a lot of downfall in many of the business sectors around the country and Utah still remained if not number one within the top five strongest economies within the nation. So people have seen that they recognize that Utah has got a really strong economy and being now that they might be able to work from home they want to take advantage of things in Utah like lower taxes and just a better quality of life. You're going to be moving here to Salt Lake City probably you already know that we've got massive growth and there's a lot of job opportunities it's probably one of the reasons that you're moving here. So the rest of the reasons moving here are things that you just want to be aware of that you can take advantage of living here in Salt Lake City. If not Salt Lake City, all the cities around Salt Lake. You know, we've got Ogden, we've got Heber, Park City, we've got Lehigh, Orem. There's so many different places that you can move to depending on your, you know, family status, what you're looking to accomplish, if you want to live more downtown or if you want to live more suburban. We'll get to that in another video entirely. So number two, the grid system. When you move here to Salt Lake City, you might be moving from a place that doesn't have a grid system, most places, but it's super easy to get a hold of once you've established your relationship with the grid system. So the grid system was established when Salt Lake was founded based on the Salt Lake Temple. Yes, Mormon culture has made a lot of the, the things that we like to use here in Salt Lake. That's a weird way of putting it. Anyways, so the temple is home base. Zero, zero on the map. So if you wanna to get to a place like 900 South, 900 East, you'll also find some amazing food there, 9th and 9th. You'll wanna go 900 blocks south of the temple and then 900 blocks east of the temple. And that'll get you to this amazing little destination in Sugar House with some great restaurants, great shopping, and walkable, amazing community. Check it out. Just a frame of reference though, if you're gonna be walking around Salt Lake streets in this grid system, one Salt Lake City block is the equivalent of nine city blocks in a place like Portland, for example. It's immense. Our streets and our grids and our blocks are big because they were planned on horse and carriages back when the city was you know established 
So they planned the streets to be so big because they wanted to be able to turn a horse and carriage around. You know, turning radius on those things is not as tight as my Subaru Outback. Salt Lake City's unofficial car. <laughs> that or the, you know, Toyota Tacoma. Pick your chips. So if you are gonna be walking around Salt Lake City, the downtown area, you can also take advantage of the track system. We've got light rail cars going throughout the city, um, actually throughout, you know, even outside the city, depending on what your location is. You wanna go to the airport, you wanna go a little more out south, you wanna take the front runner, you can go down to Provo, you can go up to Ogden. So Salt Lake City transportation, public transportation is pretty great. There's a lot to, that can be you know, implemented and changed and improved on, but we're in a really good foundation to improve on that. So yeah, downtown, the blocks might be huge. We can utilize tracks to get up and down these massive hills because we're gonna be living in the foothills. If you're riding a bike, you're gonna get exhausted. That leads us to number three, biking, skiing, snowboarding, hiking, trail running, rafting, rock climbing, all these things, Salt Lake has world-class locations to recreate in. It's an amazing place. If you love the outdoors, like I said, that quality of life, you can have an amazing job and enjoy quality of life all within that, probably within an hour. If you wanna go rock climbing, you can go up Big Cottonwood Canyon, Little Cottonwood Canyon, you can go down to Southern Utah if you really wanna get crazy and you know climb some. Uh, we've got nine world-class skiing resorts, locations, all the big ones that people talk about, Alta, Snowbird, you got Solitude, Brighton, Park City, Canyons, which are now one, Snow Basin, Powder Mountain. There's countless places for you to go. If you don't like the traffic in one of the canyons, drive 45 minutes and you're gonna be at a different resort. It's an amazing place to pick and choose your hobbies. And like I said, up in Ogden, you can do some sweet white water rafting. You can go rock climbing up there as well. You can do amazing camping, just all over Salt Lake. Even if you're not trying to spend a ton of money on places like, you know, or activities like skiing, you gotta buy a season's pass, you gotta buy all the equipment. Granted, if you go camping, you gotta buy, you know, the initial setup, but you can go anywhere, really anytime. You get four seasons tent with some great insulated pads and some great insulated sleeping bags. Shoot, you can go camping in the winter. Whatever floats your boat, you can do it. And you have amazing opportunities all within 45 minutes to an hour, really anywhere you live. It could be downtown Salt Lake, you could be out in Harriman, you can go out to the West Desert, you could be out in Lehigh, you can go up American Fork Canyon and get to Park City and Heber. The possibilities are endless and it's so exciting. So take advantage of that. The outdoors are amazing. Five national parks within Utah. It's incredible. Take advantage of it. Maybe the outdoors aren't your thing for whatever reason. You like to travel, Internationally, you like to you know go all over Europe, you want to go backpacking, you want to explore some new cultures. The international airport brings us to number four. So Salt Lake has the international airport. It's a new airport that actually was just built. We're expanding on it. The second phase of it should be done by 2023, I'm guessing, um, which just leads to less walking. If you've been through the Salt Lake International Airport, you know how much walking you're gonna be doing. But anyways. You have so many destinations you can fly to. Delta being the hub in Salt Lake. You can fly all over the United States. You can go to Hawaii direct. The other direct locations you can fly to, Canada, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Mexico. I don't know if Mexico is unique. I don't know if there's other hubs anywhere else in the country that flies direct to Mexico, but it's an amazing place to fly to direct, you don't have to stop anywhere. The Netherlands go over to Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, it's such a good time. From Amsterdam, go over to places like Iceland. Oh, having the international airports 30 to 35 minutes from where you live is a godsend. And the traffic really is not bad here in Salt Lake City. So you can, you know, 15, 20 minutes buffer time, depending on traffic, way better than like an hour in some cities. So number four, that international airport right there, really an amazing asset to have. Man, massive economic growth. The grid system, so easy to drive around and locate yourself and go to your friend's best house or just a restaurant that someone's telling you to go to. Granted, we all have phones, so let's be real. We can get anywhere we want anyways, but the grid system just makes things super direct. Boom, 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 you're there. 
the outdoors, it's picturesque. Anywhere you go, you're gonna be taking pictures. Your phone's gonna be full of pictures from all the different places that you're gonna be going. Your friends are gonna get tired of you posting all the Instagram stories and posts that you're gonna be doing all the outdoor activities. They're gonna get sick of it. So they're gonna move here and you're gonna tell them to hit me up. The International Airport, flying all over the country, all over the world, direct. And lastly, we're all Mormon. No, just kidding. But Salt Lake is um, a blue bubble within a red state. So if it's something that you're not used to, uh, we are a pretty right-leaning state with a very left-leaning capital. Be that what you may, um, you find your people regardless. So if you move into Salt Lake, you're going to find a lot of smiles, people greeting you, people saying hello. We're super friendly. We really like to know people in our communities. We like to help out one another, one another, one another. Um, and we just like to be kind and generous, you know, wave to folks on the trails, say hi, smile. Maybe they don't want to talk to you, but they're going to at least do some niceties where you feel like you're in a great place. You're welcome. You're in a safe space and you feel like you're meant to be where you are. You know, one of the things that I hear from traveling and just, you know, using that international airport, getting outside of Utah is recognizing that not everyone is friendly. Not everyone's going to wave or say hello or, you know, give you a smile or a glance and recognize that you're a human being in their space sharing experiences. A lot of people just continue on their path. They do what they do and you'll find that in Salt Lake, granted, but just the vast majority of people are going to be looking at you and smiling. They might not wave. They might not do some of the other things, but you just feel a sense of happiness and excitement about people here in Salt Lake. People just love where they live. And that's a big reason that popu the yeah population growth continues to rise in Salt Lake. Because yes, the population does see a larger family than the rest of the country. You know, families generally have three plus kids here in Salt Lake and those kids choose to stay in Salt Lake. We don't see a lot of people leaving Salt Lake City. You're born here, you're raised here, you live here, you die here because it's so freaking beautiful and you can go anywhere you want. You don't need to leave. Yes, you should leave. You should experience things outside of Salt Lake, experience cultures, experience people, get out, see the world, experience life, do the things, but people just come back in droves and we see it all the time because of the five things that I just listed. So if you're thinking about moving to Salt Lake City, or you've already committed to it because of all the job opportunities, give me a shout, leave me a comment. My information's down below. Give me a call, book a time to Zoom call me, shoot me a text, slide into my DMs, whatever you like to do. I'm happy to connect with you and help you on this transition to this amazing, amazing city. And I look forward to hearing from you. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Grab, grab, grab.